So um, we're going to talk a little bit today about the Golden Retriever breed, uh, a little bit about what we do as a rescue, some of the dogs that have come through our program, and then I've got the, I, my time ran a little short uh, for the last class, so I'm going to make sure this time I get to spend a little more time talking about how you guys could potentially help us out and get involved uh, with our organization. So. This is just a little fun slide to give you a little bit of background on <coughs> Sammy, um, who uh, came into our program about two years ago, and she came along with uh, two six-month-old puppies that had been part of a litter that she had um, bred, and she was also pregnant with 11 more puppies when she came in. So the puppies uh, from that second litter were born right at our uh, rescue facility, which is in Reinholz, Pennsylvania, near uh, Denver and Adamstown. And we raised them, 11 puppies, a lot of work. We raised them at our facility, and then we found homes for them. So these are uh, two of the puppies, and here's Sammy with her puppy. And one of the things that when we have puppies at our uh, rescue, we want to make sure that we have them spend time with kids when they're small so that they get comfortable with kids and familiar with them. Um, so this is Inza's daughter Paige who came in and helped us out uh, by interacting with the puppies and she didn't know at that time that she was going to end up having Mama Sammy as her dog. Okay, so this is a picture of a uh, typical golden retriever. They are uh, classified as a sporting breed from the American Kennel Club, and uh, they originally were bred in uh, England and Scotland as hunting dogs. There are a number of other retrievers that I just wanted you to be aware of. There's Labrador Retrievers, Flat-Coated Retrievers, Chesapeake Bay Retrievers, and Curly-Coated Retrievers. Anybody familiar with those breeds at all? Okay, Labradors, I'm sure you've all seen Labrador Retrievers, they're very popular as well as Golden Retrievers. Um, so they're all part of the same family, so to speak. Golden Retrievers, and um, probably even if you don't have one, you've interacted with them before. But some of the typical characteristics, they're uh, very friendly, very people-oriented, they love to be petted, they love to be paid attention to, they're very affectionate. Um, a lot of them are big time kissers. I haven't had, my last two dogs aren't kissers, but, but many of them. Does Sammy like to kiss? In the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Give a kiss. Mm -hmm. Not under me. <laughs> um, not everybody likes that, so I said sometimes overly so. Like some people, you know, they just aren't real uh, comfortable with the idea of a dog that's just all over you all the time. So it's important to know when people are picking out a breed. Um, those of us who have gold retrievers like that. I, I like dogs that are very affectionate, but not everybody does. They're typically very smart, and they do well in obedience training. Um, they're, when they're young, in particular, they're very active and very energetic. Sammy is actually, for a three-year-old, um, much more on the laid-back side than uh, most three-year-old Goldens would be. And have you ever heard Goldens are great with kids, that they're great family dogs, or they just love kids? Well, most of the time they do, and these are some pictures of uh, dogs that have been adopted for our program and obviously love kids, but, but not all of them do, so it's important you know, to know that because um, in our rescue, we, we bring in dogs that need new homes, and sometimes, even though people are surprised by it, sometimes they need new homes because they didn't do well with the kids. So, Goldens come in a lot of different colors. These are blonde. These are red. Have you seen both of those colors? Um, whoops. They can be on the slender side, or they can be on the chunky side. <laughs> And this boy's a little overweight, quite a bit overweight. But even if he lost weight, he's never going to look like he's never going to be slender like this. So just like people, uh, everybody has a different you know body structure. Um, but if, 
lot of variation in what golden retrievers look like and what their personality is like. Even though they all share similar characteristics, they still have a lot of differences as well.